I just found a new tool that can help you take notes way easier with new AI powered local note taking application. This is where I would like to introduce Reor Project. Reor is a new AI powered desktop note taking app, and it's something that can automatically link related ideas, answer questions on your notes, and provide semantic search. Everything is stored locally, and you can edit your notes with an Obsidian like Markdown editor. Now, the great thing is, is that this is something that can help you run any model locally with this note taking app. Just take a look at this demo video. In this demo, we see the Markdown editor showing the notes on self-organizing personal data. Now, from this structured text, there is a sidebar on the right side, and this is something that's allowing you to summarize and chat with your notes. This is where it can help you with note-taking, Q&A, and having everything searched semantically with your files. It can also articulate the prompt with the proper output structure. And we can see that on this prompt over here, where you basically give it a prompt stating, what are my thoughts on how notes in a note-taking app should be connected in the age of ai give me a comprehensive overview and we can see that it's able to output quite structured detailed textual response and this is something that you can do with this amazing ai powered application sorry for being repetitive but this month we had insane partnerships with big companies giving out subscriptions to ai tools completely for free these are tools that will streamline your business's growth and improve your efficiency just being a patron this past month you were given access to six paid subscriptions completely for free not only do you access these subscriptions but you gain the ability for consulting networking collaborating with the community as well as with myself you get access Access to daily AI news, resources, giveaways, and so much more. If you're interested, check out the Patreon link in the description below to gain access to these benefits. Now, there's a lot more to this, and it's something that we're going to take a look at as you go further into the video, as I'm going to be talking a little bit more about what you can do with it, how you can run it locally, and so much more. So with that thought, guys, stay tuned, and let's get straight into the video. If you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one with me where you can access my consulting services, where I can help you grow your business or basically give you a lot of different types of solutions with AI, definitely take a look at the calendar link in the description below. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Reor. Now, this is an AI powered desktop note taking application and it offers automatic linking of related ideas, answering your questions, as well as having the ability to have semantic search capabilities. Now, all your data is completely stored locally, so you don't need to worry about any sort of privacy issues. And the notes can be edited using this markdown editor, similar to Obsidian. Now, the project Project's hypothesis is centered around the idea that AI tools for thought should be primarily focusing on operation using local run models. So what Rior has done is that it's utilizing technologies like Llama CPP, Transformers.js, as well as Lance database to enhance the running of large language models. And it also focuses on running embedding models locally. So it can also support connections to open AI as well as compatible APIs like Ooga Booga. Now, how can it be possible to be self-organizing? So what Rior has actually done is that it achieved this self-organization by automatically connecting related notes based on their context similarities. So what this means is that each note that is given to this system is broken down into smaller parts and transformed into numerical representations and this is where they are then used to establish the connection between the notes as well as similar contents that are provided in this application now what Rior has done is that it also employed a large language model for question answering. So this is where it can answer different sorts of questions using the help of the large language model. And it's utilizing a technique called RAG. And this is something that many of us have heard about through retrieval augmented generation. And this is to basically access context from the note corpus. Now, this will enable you to ask questions and retrieve relevant answers based on the information that's stored in the notes catalog. 
Now, what this will end up doing is that it will facilitate the semantic searchability, which will allow you to search for information based on the meaning rather than just keywords. And these are basically the functionalities of Rior, as this is some sort of new hybrid system that they have established, which will leverage both computational and human input to augment users' thoughts by cross-referencing ideas within their notes. And this will obviously enhance the organization's users' ability, as well as exploration of different sorts of information through your corpus. So how can you get started? Well, you can get started by downloading it through their website as they have an ability to download this application with your OS. So you can download it with Windows, Mac, as well as Linux. Now, another method is installing it through the repo and this is by building it from the source. Now, they also stated that if you're running local models, Rior interacts directly with Llama CPP libraries. So there's no need to download Olama. Although right now we do not, we don't download models for you. So you will need to download your models of choice manually. So if you're going to be integrating any sort of open source model with this note taking powered AI app, you will then need to do it on your own download it locally and connect it with Llama CVP's libraries. Now they have a good demonstration as to how you can do that. If you want any sort of help, comment it down in the description or definitely reach out to me in the discord. Now you're also able to import notes from other apps, which is a really, really cool feature. And this is something that would be really useful for possibly taking notes from notion or any sort of note taking app that is on the web and connecting it to your local computer by exporting the data and having it connected with this note taking app. Now, if you are to build from the source, it's super easy, guys. You're going to need to make sure that you have Python and then make sure that you have Git. And this is some of the prerequisites that are needed to have this fully functional locally. So what you want to do first is clone this repo. Super simple. Copy this link, go to your command prompt. Once you are over here, you simply just want to click Enter after you have pasted into your command prompt. Once that is done, you want to go into the folder by typing in CD and type in reor. So it's super simple. You can then just go type in CD reor and then click enter. Obviously, it's not going to find the path because I didn't clone it. But once you're in the folder, you can then install the dependencies by copying this command. Once that is done, if you're going to be running it for the dev, you can then follow through with this. A, uh, command and then if you're going to be building it for, forward and launching the application you can then go forward with this command and once that is done you're going to be able to start chatting with your notes fairly easily but now i'm going to be showcasing how you can install it with an os so since i have it for windows i'm going to be proceeding forward with this example so i got my download as an exe file so i'm going to then download the unverified file not to this at your own discretion obviously but this is a burner PC, so I don't really care. Now, once it has finally installed, I'm gonna then load this up and then we'll proceed forward with the installation. So this will prompt up because it's an unverified application. So if you're gonna proceed forward with this, obviously do it at your own discretion. You can then click on more info and then run it anyway. This will then prompt you to install it. So this will take a couple of seconds. Once it's done, I'll be right back. So then you'll be then prompt with the rear setup window. And then you can select from these two options. I'm going to be doing it for my computer only clicking next you can install it wherever you want this is around 1 gb 861 megabytes so install it wherever you want and once it has fully installed after you have selected the folder path as to where you want it installed you can then just start working on the installation and then after you can open it up within a couple of minutes and then you'll be then prompt to see this screen where it says welcome to rear project and you're able to select your vault directory. This vault directory doesn't need to be empty. Only marked on files will be indexed. So you can select whatever files you want to work with. You can also focus on using different embedding models. They have a couple already. So you can use the one which is medium. And this is the one that's recommended. You can attach local LMs, attach remote LMs, as well as connect to OpenAI. In this case, I don't have any local LMs installed at the moment. So I'm going to just connect to OpenAI by inputting my OpenAI key. Once I've done this, I'll be right back. Now, once you have set your OpenAI API key, you can select any sort of OpenAI model from the list over here. So once you have selected it and connected your directory, you can then proceed forward. This will start initializing the vector database. And once this is fully finished, I'll be right back. Now, once it has finished indexing, you're going to be able to then chat with your files. And this is where you can then import your files 
by clicking on the buttons over here where you can import a new directory. You can then create a new note. You can also search different things with their cement search feature as well as having access to organizing the files over here. So I already imported a couple of files. You can chat with these files and ask it different questions and it will help you index it and write notes based off the files or context that you give it. So say if you want to change the presettings that you have set already, you can click on this gear button over here and config the new large language model that you want to set. You can also go to the embedding models and this is where you can change based off the files that you want to re-index. You can also go to RAG and this is where the number of notes to feed to the large language model during the Q&A. So you can change this to whatever you would like. In this case, 10 is the preset. And that's about it guys. That's how you can use this amazing Rior project which will help you have this sort of self-organization system that will automatically connect related notes based on their context similarities. This is a perfect AI note-taking app as well as a personal AI tool for whatever context that you want it to generate with your with the help of your own large language model. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you like this video. I'll leave all the links that I use in today's video in the description below. Now, if you guys haven't checked out the Patreon, definitely do so. This is a great way to access amazing subscriptions completely for free. Make sure you follow us on Twitter if you guys haven't already. This is a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.